Hey guys, welcome to another video. Hopefully you enjoyed that little trailer there about Fusion, a brand new Rock League tournament that I've been working on behind the scenes for quite a while now uh, within Civic, uh, who most of you will know um, worked on me with uh, or worked with me on the European Invitational earlier in the year. Uh, but yeah, we're super excited to bring you guys this tournament. Uh, I know a lot of you have been wondering what have I been doing behind the scenes all this time. I keep talking about it. Well, here it is. It's Fusion. It's a Rock League tournament. Uh, really not like any other one uh, that's ever happened in Rocket League. But uh, if you want to see this uh, website that I'm going to quickly scroll through for yourself, I'm going to go through it quite quickly. But if you want to just read everything, uh, find out about the tournament yourself, it's fusion-rl.com. Uh, another couple of things for you to know is, you know, shout out to Moon for the music in that trailer and also to uh, Linksy for putting it together. Uh, really appreciate those guys um, doing such a good job there. Now, what is Fusion? Well, it's a, a 3v3, 2v2, and 1v1 tournament all combined, crew battle style uh, in Rocket League. Uh, there's going to be two different tournaments, one for uh, for North America with a $25,000 prize pool, one for Europe with a $25,000 prize pool. Uh, but they're not limited to only North American and European teams. If other teams want to sign up, then they can. Uh, obviously, uh, regions like South America will be on the North American server. Regions like Middle East will be in the European server. Uh, but, you know, if other regions want to go crazy and try and apply, even though they're going to get 200 ping, then they can they can give it a go. But uh, there's no guarantees that they'll get accepted because we're limiting the qualifiers for uh, each region to 32 teams each. Um, so if you want to sign up with your team, uh, you've got to tweet the lineup at me, at Johnny Uh Continue the hashtag Fusion. Fusion RL actually um you're allowed to have three or four players in your team and this is going to make sense later uh on when i explain the format uh, but yeah if you want a shot at that money you've got to tweet your lineup at, uh, at my twitter uh this week this is the this is the week where uh, my twitter is going to go crazy i guess and people are going to be signing up uh to try and win all this money uh but yeah that uh you know regional uh guidance will be given if some uh, australian team's trying to apply for the european server this is not going to happen like we're, they're going to get better ping on na so that's where they go na teams obviously sign up for na eu for eu obvious right so yeah we'll we'll move on so the qual the qualifier format is going to be double elimination uh obviously i said already 32 teams in each uh, qualifier uh every series will be best of five but it only plays up until top eight so four teams are going to qualify to the uh to the regional finals um through the upper bracket and four will qualify through the lower bracket uh and teams during the qualifier can field any combination of players on their from their lineup uh for any game in every series that they play so there's no restrictions there um, the series format now, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, some of you will have seen this format before on my channel. It's 3v3 for the first game in the best of five, 2v2 for the second game, then 1v1 for the third game. And if game four is needed, it will be the team who are losing that pick it. Uh, they'll pick the matchup for it. And if game five is needed, the other team uh, will pick the matchup for it. So the, the qualifiers are going to be on May the 21st and 22nd uh, for EU and NA. Obviously, NA is starting a bit later in the day there. Uh, but the that's when the qualifiers will start. They'll be spread out over those two days. Um, and then we'll have our top eight teams for both regions. Uh, they'll progress to the final tournament. Uh, now, the tournament is a bit different. Again, it's going to actually contain three separate brackets for each. So uh, the European tournament will have a threes bracket, a twos bracket, and a ones bracket. And likewise, the NA tournament will have a threes bracket, a twos bracket, and a ones bracket. Uh, all teams who qualify will have um, uh, a spot in every single bracket. Um, those brackets will be single elimination, all, C all uh, series will be best of seven, and teams can again field any combination of players from their lineup to any game that is being played. So if they don't like a, a 1v1 series is going, they can sub out. It's, we're not making any restrictions there. Uh, nobody's locked into a game mode either. If a team want to run a star player playing all the brackets, then that's fine. If they don't, if they want to have a different player playing ones than the 2v2, that's also fine. Again, no restrictions. It's just uh, whatever teams decide is best for them. Now, there will be points awarded overall depending on how teams uh, do in every bracket. So whoever wins the 1v1 bracket will get 17 points for their team. Whoever comes second will get 11 points for their team. And the two... Uh, 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 players who get knocked out in the semi-finals will get seven points each for their team. So at the end of it all, when all three brackets are completed, we'll be able to see which team uh, has the most points, and that'll be the team that wins overall, obviously. 
Um, and I believe that there's no, there's actually no possibilities for ties except if two teams get the exact same results in different brackets. For example, first in one bracket, second in another, and then just reverse for the other team. Uh, obviously, that would be a tie. Now, if two teams are tied or more t uh, teams are tied, I think it's possible to have three teams tied. Uh, but yeah, if, if there are ties, the prize money for those positions is just dis distributed evenly. There's no tie breaks or anything. Uh, tournament dates, I know a lot of you are going to want to know that. It's going to be the last week of uh, May for the NA tournament and the first week of June for the EU tournament. There will be one series from each of the brackets uh, on every day of that, uh, of that week for the NA tournament. So there will be a 3v3 uh, game series followed by a 2v2 series followed by a 1v1 series on every single day of uh, the last week of May for NA and then first week of June for EU. And uh, this is your prize pool breakdown. Um, every uh, bracket winner will be will win uh, a set amount of money for their team. So if you've come first in the one v one bracket, you've won your team fifteen hundred. Same for the two v two, you've won your team fifteen hundred. Uh, and uh, the other amounts are below there. Uh, the overall standings is where most of the money will be won. Um, if you finish first overall in points, your team wins forty five hundred, and then three thousand per second, and so on and so on. That's pretty much all there is to it. And I say that's all there is to it. There is, you know, quite a lot there uh, to remember. That's why I said uh, you can go and read all this yourself on the website fusion rlcom It'll be linked below if you want to find out uh, more about the tournament. If you think you get you're good enough to apply, uh, if you're good enough to win this, and go ahead and apply. And uh, myself and a team of experts um, are going to be uh approving the 32 most promising teams the 32 best teams who apply for each uh region's qualifier uh to play in that qualifier and hopefully uh go on to qualify for the uh final event uh, at the end of the at the end of the month but yeah like i said guys really excited about this one um a shout out to you know in civic for uh coming up with this idea it was actually his idea to do a crazy uh you know three game mid game mode tournament like this and i think it's awesome and uh, also shout out to Sionics for letting it happen because obviously we're way over the uh, the uh, 5k community uh, tournament guideline here. Uh, that wouldn't be possible without Sionics. So we re really appreciate them as well. Um, and yeah, this is uh, going to be a fun month for Rocket League uh, community tournaments, I hope. I'm looking forward to it and hopefully you guys are as well. Uh, and uh, if, again, one last thing, if you want to uh, keep up with everything that is happening with the tournament, you just have to uh, follow my Twitter um i've actually got that too far at the bottom here there it is so you, can, you can follow my twitter uh to know anything about uh the tournament it's going to be uh streamed on my twitch channel and it's going to be uh uploaded to this youtube channel at least one video per day will be uploaded to this youtube channel probably the 1v1 and the 2v2 and the 3v3 for each day will actually be on a second channel because i don't want to bombard this one uh so you can watch everything on youtube if you want to uh but there will be a second channel also linked in the description that you can uh, go subscribe to uh, that'll be where the twos and threes series are, are going to be. Uh, and the, all the ones, uh, series, the last series of every day will be, uh, right here on my main YouTube channel. So that's, that's all you really need to know guys for now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I know there's a lot to take in, uh, but yeah, I better go and start, uh, taking notes of all the teams that sign up here because, uh, signups are about to open. It's currently, uh four minutes past 7 p.m for me i think the announcement's going out in 56 minutes so uh just about to have <laughs> have it all break loose uh but yeah it's, it's a definitely gonna be a good problem to have if too many teams are trying to sign up that's uh that'll, that'll be fun to uh try and start out but yeah guys uh i'll see you well hopefully soon with uh some more regular style content but there there will be fusion uh coming to this channel uh, right at the end of the month, so not too long. And yeah, I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. It's been a while. It's been a while, a long time in the making, uh, but it's almost here now. So yeah, take care, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, stay safe, stay indoors, uh, stay responsible, and let's uh, all have some fun watching some high level competitive Rocket League, the likes of which uh, we've never seen before. Uh, have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.